what's up y'all how y'all doing today thanks for joining me today for the shave of the day and we're gonna get right into it with the products we're gonna be using starting with the hardware today we're just gonna use a simple uh, easy to find Vanderhagen uh, razor this is the twist to open you twist the bottom and it opens at the top this is also known as a butterfly and so this is a nice little mild razor that I do suggest that if you are thinking about getting into traditional wet shaving and you've never used a uh, double-edged safety razor this is a good one to start with it's a very mild razor uh, inside of it we have a laser ultra and there's the wrapper here uh, the laser ultra triple coated um, blade pack there so the first uh, first use on this was with the lemon cream uh, that I did last and today we've got a new soap uh, that we're trying out and this will be the second use on the same blade so we'll get to the soap in just a moment as far as the uh, brush that we're going to be using soaking here in the sink has been the uh, Parker this is the uh, redwood handled boar hair brush really enjoy that it's gotten very very soft uh, as I use it so I'm looking forward to using that all right as far as the soap goes we're continuing the uh, to do the products from the OCSC soap pass around and this is the soap is uh, rose line and it's brought to you by uh, River Valley Trading Company out of Durban, South Africa. So there's a shot of the soap container. The ingredients are steric acid, palm oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, avocado oil, glycerin, French clay, and essential oils. Now the last video I did uh, featuring their soaps was uh, lemon cream and it listed out the essential oils. This one does not. So um, I don't know exactly what oils they use. There's a shot of the inside. Everybody's been really respectful of just taking some scrapings and add them to a lather bowl to whip up the lather. And there's plenty going on in there uh, for anybody who's waiting for these. Um, there's plenty of soap, so don't worry. Um, as far as the scent goes, rose line. Um, when a soap maker uses essential oils, uh, you try to interpret what the uh, soap maker was is trying to convey in the scent or I look at it that's that's the artistry in it um, combining the the uh, essential oils immediately I'm getting a, a, a lemon or a lime not a lime but a lemon a fresh clean lemony smell now it's not like lemon cream this is a very faint lemon it's an undertone uh, if you will but I guess the top note is supposed to be rose and you're thinking well rose is flowers this is going to be floral it's not this is not a floral scent um, it's actually a very earthy scent it's it's a um, it's a clean earth scent is the best thing I can describe the best way I can describe it um, I do like it um, it's a little unusual so it's kind of outside of my norm I, and I guess the reason that it kind of comes I, that I that I like it is because of the lemon. So um, you got that lemon, clean lemon undertone uh, with the with the earthy top note. So it makes it pretty good. All right. So I, you know, as far as the soap goes, and uh, what it's it doesn't really smell like roses. So um, there may be some type of rose hip hip or but hose rose hip. I guess that's the way you say it. Um, essential oil in there. Um, and I'm not so, so sure if some of those notes are starting to fade away, but um, it does have a fresh, clean scent with a with an earth tone. So that's the soap we're going to be using, and I just scraped a little bit of it out and placed it in my lather bowl. So we're going to get to that here in just a second. And because it's got an earthy undertone to it, I thought of for the aftershave, we're going to go with this right here. All right, and this is the uh, La La Forêt de uh, I'm so I'm just terrible at pronouncing these words. Uh, Liguest, I guess is that's the way you're supposed to say it. Um, uh, Chatelon Lux is the uh, is the maker of this one, and uh, this is an alcohol-based aftershave for you guys that uh, know this company. You know this is a good product. I'm just not a very big alcohol-based uh, aftershave um, fan, uh, just because I have sensitive skin. But I think the scents are going to go real nice together since this is uh, an earthy tone here. With the earthy tone soap so enough talking let's get to shaving i'm gonna wet my face i'll be right back with a lather okay 
So uh, I bloomed it. I bloomed the soap. I had it here in my lather bowl. I had the brush soaking in the uh, in the uh, sink, and we just bloomed the soap just a little bit there. And you can see, just going straight into it. This is actually a little bit too much water, as you can see it dripping off uh, out of the bowl. That's all right. It'll thicken up here in a minute. But it creates a lather very quickly. I mean, it starts bubbling up very fast. I'm interested to see what this scent is going to be like once it's in a lather. Sometimes um, those scents, essential oils, tend to change a little bit with your skin chemistry. And you just see all the lather that's starting to come out of that bowl there. I'm trying to keep it in the bowl and use it a little bit. Not too bad. Um, the bubbles on this one seem to be a little bit bigger than the lemon cream. Not as tight. Uh, I'm still trying to get that sheen to come across the top of it there. Like I said, we had to work a little bit harder on this one because we started with too much water. Just got to thin it out a little bit. But it's thick. I mean, look at it holding on there. And all that holding on pretty good. So... Mm -hmm. All right, so more lather than I ever needed to use. I still didn't achieve that sheen that I like. But you know, you have to play with these with soaps sometimes, the ingredients and how they interact with the essential oils, and um, they just lather differently. Some need a lot of water because they're very thirsty, and some of them don't need much water, and this one probably didn't need as much water as I used. So, tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna let all that just hang out and we're gonna go straight into what's been loaded, but I mean, that's, that's not bad. That's pretty thick too. So, yeah, very nice. All right, we're gonna face lather with this. I may be going back to the bowl and scooping some of that up. Let's go to the bowl and grab some of that. So a lot thinner. As far as putting it on the face, it seems to be a thinner lather than the lemon cream. Yeah, there's definitely a lemon Kind of like that clean lemon smell uh, on this. I'm scooping all of it out of here. Let's see what we got. There's a lot of lather. It's not as thick as I would like it for me personally. Go back in here and see if I can pick some more up. I like a real dense lather. This is a little bit better. There we go. All right, we're going to go with that. Rinse my hands off and get straight into the shave. So I hope everyone is doing well. It's nice and sunshiny. And although it is fall, it is still 90 degrees outside here in Georgia. Which is typical. It said that yesterday was going to be the hottest day and it, and it should be cooling off. I think we had a 
mid 90s for a high. And we should be cooling off every day. And usually for us, I always look at Halloween as being the coldest night. That's That kind of starts the whole fall winter thing for me is Halloween night. It's usually pretty chilly. Enough that you want to wear a long sleeve uh, Halloween costume for those that go out trick-or-treating. Yeah, so the laser's just going straight on through that. They're, they're just having no problems cutting through uh, two solid days worth of growth. This soap is a little bit differently, definitely acts different than the first one that I used. Um, all right, we'll call that a good on the uh, on first pass there. And pull some of this down and see what we get as a residual slickness on this. Um, there's really none. Mm -mm. Yeah, there, there's no residual slickness in that. Not that I would use. So we'll go back to the soap here, add some more. I'm just going back to the bowl here and whipping up some more lather. There we go. It's not the thickest lather I've had. All right, second pass, here we go. Uh, we're going ear to nose. You know, I'm still getting that, a nice, mild, earthy tone. with a mild, lemony, clean. Hmm. Lost a whisker there out of that brush. Yeah, this, um, this, this soap's acting a lot different than the other one. Um, it's not very slick. It's a very thin lather, as you can tell. I don't want to speak too soon, but I haven't gotten a nick, so it's still at least doing its job as far as protecting 
Ah, misschien. This is a very mild razor, so I'm touch ups are kind of I don't do much touch up with this. Um, it doesn't give the talking about the razor, the razor itself, not the blade, the handle is a very, very mild um, razor. It does not get as close as I like so there's usually a lot of touch up going on but for the itinerary I have this week uh, it's a little bit later in the day to do a to get shaven, uh, but I'm going to do it. I decided to do it anyway, so I could use the soap. And then uh, I've got to get up early in the morning and shave again, so I'll have a, a decent shave when I shave in the morning. Um, but I just do a, a good touch up, and then I'll be on the road all day tomorrow, uh, doing some traveling for work. It's going to be a very long day. All right, well, that's not too bad. Here, we're going to rinse that off and then uh, use Allen Block, and we'll come back in just a moment. All right. A little alum on the face. There's the telltale sign. little feedback on the trouble area right there but not much nice little spot right there is where I get a lot of ingrowns just the way that the hair grows on my neck and that crease but ultimately very very nice all right You want to always make sure that you wipe down your Allen block when you get done. Uh, this one comes with a case, so if you if it's a wet block and you put it back in the case wet, when you use it next, you're going to get a very rude surprise because Allen grows. You get sharp little edges, and it does not feel good. You want to keep it nice and smooth. So always, always wipe off your Allen block before you put it away. All right, so uh, I used all of the uh, soap in there. I mean, everything that I had, I, I, we used it up. Uh, this is what it looks like uh, roughly, a little under 20 minutes later, uh, just sitting in the bowl. Uh, there's your lather. Um, it's, even with this, this is not the slickest um, soap. Um, it is a, it, it's a dense, how am I gonna, how do I actually say, uh, it did the job. It's not the slickest soap that I've ever used, um, but you can, I mean, it's, there's plenty of it. It lathers up decently easy. Um, this smells nice. It didn't change much when I used it or on the face. Um, didn't open up like that lemon cream. Um, was kind of, uh, it was stronger in the tub and then once you lathered it and used it, it lightened up very nice. This one just kind of stayed the status quo. It smells just like what it was in the top uh, in the tub uh, but it's a nice smell it's a nice smell all right uh, I'm gonna rinse my face off and then we'll go to the aftershave be right back um, I was noticing the ingredients on there was the French clay and I'm not familiar with French clay but I am familiar with bentonite clay and bentonite clay is often added to um, shaving soaps and well any soaps but shaving soaps 
um, as a way to make them um, slicker, slipperier. And, and I've, I've made some shaving soap with bentonite clay in it. Bentonite clay usually irritates my skin, um, but that didn't. That did not irritate my skin for having clay in it. Um, I'm not seeing any issues that I've experienced in the past. Uh, the soap rinsed away very nice and clean. Uh, and I got a very nice shave. The razor and the blade work very well uh, with that soap also. And I can actually smell, I can actually smell this residue. Residue is not the right word, but I can still smell the scent of that soap. And that actually smells very nice. It's very, it's very faint, um, but I like it. I like that smell. That smell is, it's not floral. Understand, I know it says rose line and it's got rose in there. It's got a rose on the front, but it is, it's not a, this is not a floral soap. Um, an earthy tone with a nice clean. Yeah, I like that. That's actually not bad at all. Okay, so here we go with the aftershave. Um, Allen Block did most of the job there, so I don't think that this is going to be much of a, burn fest or anything since the allen blocks pretty much sealed it all up yeah very nice chatelon lux la forêt de uh, ling linguist linguist um, anyway very nice it's a French explorer as uh, if, I, if I remember history right I believe that linguist is the uh, is a French explorer and we're talking about uh, the yeah the forest of linguist so very nice I actually really enjoy this um, the scent it's taking me a while for it to grow on me but it's very nice and I really enjoy that I, that's just about BB smooth after getting all that on there. I'm, I can't complain. It worked, did its job. Um, yeah, so the plus and minuses uh, for my taste, uh, I can tell you my opinion of a soap uh, as far as being thick and thin and blah, 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 blah. You know, I like a thicker one. That one wasn't as thick as I like it, although it was a very nice um, lather it it went on very nice it wasn't as thick as I'm used to it was a little bit more thin even though I tried to build it to get it thicker uh, but ultimately when it came on the what the 20 minutes that you've been sharing with me I put it on my face and it worked I mean that's what you're looking at you know stability and all that stuff sitting outside for three hours and oh look it's still holding itself I don't need a shaving soap that lasts three hours I need it to last like 10 minutes <laughs> you know and I just needed to be enjoyable uh, while I'm doing it and it was definitely enjoyable uh, while using it so um, you know opinions <laughs> you know what they say about opinions everybody's got one and they usually stink right okay so that does it uh, real quick recap here we go there's the Vander Hagen uh, very inexpensive I think 18 17 bucks you might even find them on sale for about 15 uh, Vander Hagen uh, twist to open butterfly double edge razor great beginners razor um, I mean I sell razors and I don't I, I, I'll tell you now most yeah I, I, I can point you toward that one that's if you've never used a double edge safety razor and you want to start that's a very good start I don't think you're gonna stick with it very long I think that once you get the angles down and you get to using it you're gonna want to advance and get to a more aggressive or a uh, take a step up uh, in a different type of, uh, of razor to get a better uh, shave. But that's what we used, and we used the Laser Ultra. That was the second run on that blade. Worked fine, no problems, no hangs up, no snags. So it worked out very well. Uh, we just went over the aftershave and then come right back to the Rose Line once again. Rose Line from Durban, South Africa. It's the River Valley Trading Company uh, shaving soap. So. Good on them. Appreciate uh, you joining me. Appreciate you watching and uh, paying attention a little bit. Uh, got two more of these soaps to go, and then I will be boxing them up and sending them to the next person on the list. So 
to River Valley Trading Company. Thank you very much for doing the pass around and sharing a little bit about yourself and the company. Um, I've really enjoyed it. So, all right, other than that, I uh, hope that you have a wonderful day. I uh, hope that you have some, uh, some fun today. It's a, um, it's a good day to have some fun. I'm about to go have some fun with the kids now. So uh, take care, be safe, and have a happy shave. Thank <laughs> you.